Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and in this episode of Film Studies, we're going to talk about three things. Foreground, middle ground, and background. Because the idea of this entire series is to take a movie, break it into individual images, and to learn from it. One of the most important things you're going to need to learn is how to clear away the visual clutter. So if I were to take a single image out of a movie, define what is the foreground, middle ground, and background, and forget about all the other details, this is what I'm left with. It's pretty simple. Now, of course, it tells me a lot less. I don't know who the actors are anymore. I can't tell what the setting is. But from a structural standpoint, it becomes a much more simple, understandable image. Now, when you strip away the specifics of a scene, what you're left with is a structure that becomes very versatile. Because if you look at these two images, they're essentially the same. But when I reveal where these originated from, they're totally different. One's designed for adults, one's designed for kids. They have different lighting, totally different characters, one's live action, etc. So the point is if you're able to take a filmic image, something that's photographic in nature, and then strip away all the specifics, leaving yourself with foreground, middle ground, background, you have almost a formula. You could replace this imagery with your own characters, set, location, lighting, all these things, and you'd have something totally different. Because remember, what you're doing here is learning, and you're learning from people that have been doing it longer than you. The cinematographer and director of photography, they're the people setting up these shots to begin with. And they're considering all kinds of different elements, one of which is foreground, middle ground, background. But if you haven't been doing it too long, it can be nice to strip away some of the extra information and focus on one aspect of composition at a time. All right, what is such a big deal about having a foreground, middle ground, and background? Well, mainly, it's because it gives a sense of depth to your scene. As I've talked about in the Principles of Design video, it's important to give your audience a sense of scale. And one great way to give scale is to have overlapping forms. So if you have small objects in the foreground, maybe they overlap large objects which are in the middle ground, and give you a sense of your place. How large is this character compared to this object? Generally the background is what's going to give a sense of where the characters are. It's sort of the setting. Sometimes the foreground will have storytelling elements, really richly detailed objects that'll add some context to the scene. But none of these are hard and fast rules. You could have simply a middle ground, some characters with a cloudy sky behind them, and it would be all right. But as a rule of thumb, the viewer is gonna get the most information out of a scene and understand depth and scale relationships very well if there's three elements, foreground, middle ground, background. Okay, so why is it important to study this stuff? Because eventually you're going to be making your own illustrations or maybe even shooting movies. And you're going to start with thumbnails or storyboards. And if you can begin to digest a variety of these different types of shapes and relationships, they will help inform more creative storyboards of your own. And eventually you'll get to a point where you're not actively thinking, I need a foreground, I need a middle ground, I need a background. Are things balanced? Is it all lining up? It'll just feel natural. But one of the best ways of getting there is to really understand each aspect in isolation. And then, of course, they'll begin to become second nature, and you can add them together. So take some of those movie stills that you've captured and just do some crude tracing in Photoshop. It does not need to look pretty. The whole goal here is to learn while you're tracing. And then if you want to, save a copy for later and use it as reference. So thanks, guys. Enjoy watching those movies and look for some foreground, middle ground, background.